South African opposition, the Economic Freedom Fighters, has castigated attempts by Zimbabwe's ruling party, the Zanu PF, to elbow out its erstwhile commissar, Sevia Kasukweri, from the presidential race, saying it is a hallmark of dictatorship. Kasukweri appears to have secured an ally in the form of EFF as he attempts to secure his name on the ballot paper ahead of August 23 general elections. The former cabinet minister is before the Supreme Court appealing a judgment barring him from contesting. High Court ruled in favor of Lafdeo Mangwana, a ZANU PF activist who approached it seeking the nullification of Kasukweri's candidate, arguing he had not been a resident of Zimbabwe for a period exceeding 18 months. The ruling was met with criticism by political activists with Kasugweri saying Munangagwa is using the judiciary to fight a personal veto. In an interview with New Zimbabwe, the EFF Secretary General Matlao Jamini said the use of state organs to fight political battles sits wrong political precedence. So this is what is happening. The EFF is now on up in arms with the Munangagwa government saying that why are you banning contestants? Why are you fearing? So, Mr. Mashaw Tamini had this to say, you do not use state organs to suppress political contestation. Tyson must be allowed to contest. Why are they scared of him to contest? Tyson must be supported and he must succeed for democracy to prevail in Zimbabwe. If people are going to use state organs and resources to suppress democracy, then we are in a dictatorship. If it starts with Tyson, then they will call their friends in South Africa. Of course, here he was referring to the ANC and tell them this is how you do it. And by next time, EFF is not allowed to contest. It is wrong and it must be allowed and it must not be celebrated. So this scenario, I think the EFF is coming from a point where we know that Julius Malema was once in the government. He was once in the ANC and he left the ANC to start his own party. So if things like this are allowed to happen, according to the EFF, Zanu PF might influence ANC so that ANC might also say uh, people who leave the party will not be allowed to contact. So political activists have predicted Kasugwe race nullification if it is abused we have a major impact on Zimbabweans living abroad who wish to cast their votes. Tyson, as Kasukwere is known, has been in self-imposed exile after fleeing to South Africa in the aftermath of a 27 military coup that deposed the then president, Robert Gabriel Mugabe. His candidature has reportedly rattled Zanupiev and Munangagwa as there is fear that he might divide the ruling party's votes. Lamin Feather told New Zimbabwe how fellow opposition leader Nelson Chamisa's voice will be crucial as Kasukwe refers to contest in this year's election. He said that we condemn it and we wish Tyson fights and must never retreat. He must use all avenues available to him to make sure he is on the ballot. We support his fight. He must not retreat in fighting in courts and everywhere else. The other opposition party, Chamisa, he must not keep quiet. They are supposed to join in this fight and say there must be fairness and these elections must be free, including allowing candidates to participate. If the ruling party succeeds, it means the next one is Chamisa, he added.